years later. So because of that, the food has to be presented to them about that far away from their mouth. The food has to be alive and moving. Even if we present, we, we take off the jumping legs at the back of these guys and we trim the, trim the wings so they can't fly. Even if the food is alive but not moving, these guys don't see it. Because they have an eyelid like us outside, the horizontal one, and they have a vertical one inside the eye, they see everything through shutters. So, everything every day is in the gap, but if the food is moving, it's on the shutter bar, and everything else between is out of focus. So, that's how they see the world. Hey. They have a bite like an alligator, extremely hard bite down. That's why I don't tend to like them near my fingertips. We've had a couple of other people have to come out, the, come out of here with them still attached. So they will bite down and draw blood. And they'll be, again, a quarter of an hour or so before they realize, oh, the taste of blood isn't that good, i better release. So, yeah. so they're quite amazing animals. The claws are out full time. They don't have any way to pull the claws in. I'll put them back. But it's amazing that you can. Oh yeah, okay, okay. You better try it on my It's amazing that you can. Uh, hang on. There you go. What's this? You can't get anywhere. The skin is extremely thin, the tuatara, and you can see it behind me on the wall. There's some skin that we put through plastic, and you can feel it. Nobody found the use of the skin. Maori's never found the use of the skin. 